Hello, I'm Toy Cat, and what of the funny consequences of the United States effectively being 50 countries wearing a trench coat is that each of those individual countries or states actually has its whole own distinct history, culture, people, geography, and even features of many countries like capitals and state flags. The capital of Texas is Austin, and also the flag of Texas is this one right here. You might recognize it, but you might also recognize one of these other 50 state flags, which does exist. And in today's video, I think it'd be fun to go through each of these state flags and talk about them one by one because unlike the overall US flag, Oh, sorry, this is the future US flag. Unlike the overall US flag, which is a simple design, which everyone can look at and say, it's recognizable, it's easy enough to get the point on, and uh, all of these other things, the US state flags have much less oversight into their design, and so we're gonna be going through each of them one by one, and then putting them on my lovely tier list. That's right, every single US flag tier list. But first, let's go through each of them, because it has to be said, looking at Delaware, I mean, they chose the blandest flag. We're going in order for mission to the Union, by the way, so this was the very first ever state, and and they decided to go for a flag which just has too much detail. It's got two people, a man of a gun and a man of a shovel. It's got a boat. It's got like a little arm, a uh, crest of arms here, which also has a cow. Or maybe it's a, yeah, I think that's a cow on there. Uh, some corn and whatever else is going on here. The only colors on this flag are in the very center. And it's just too complicated to draw. But then they made it too complicated to draw and also decided to throw the little diamond on there. It's, it's just terrible. This is a bad US state flag. I do not like it. It's going low down on the tier list. But you know what isn't going down low down on the tier list? This one. I'm just kidding. It's done the exact same thing. They've decided to write liberty and independence, but they've added virtue onto this one. Come on, guys. You don't need to virtue signal. See see what I did there? Anyway, looking at the rest of this, you can tell there's just too much happening. You wouldn't be able to draw this flag even slightly if you're Pennsylvanian. And honestly, it'd be very tricky to spot this flag versus the other ones if you're not paying too much attention. And a flag should be instantly recognizable. So this loses some points on that. Same with New Jersey. To a lesser extent, because it's got a weird color that the rest of the states didn't decide to go with. But again, we've got two random women holding up... Is that like a bobblehead hat for the winter? And then there's a cornucopia over here. Like, have you ever seen a cornucopia in real life? Well, you will if you go to the New Jersey, because you'll see their flag everywhere. There's a dead horse's head on the top here. And you know what, just in general, again, not a, not a great flag. I think Georgia is our first flag where we're finally onto something good. Red, white, and blue. Feels a little bit like we just copied the US design, but then we're like, well, we're not as important as the US, so we'll go just two, three stripes and, you know, only like a, a dozen stars or so. Um, but then they wrote on there, Constitution, Wisdom, Justice, Moderation, which, I mean, I guess now that Georgia's a purple state, you could argue they're a moderate state, but like, is that really something you need in your thing? Um, you know, like, based on my experience of Discord, moderation is not a good thing. Anyway, looking at the rest of this, In God We Trust. Also, yeah, again, we don't really need, we don't need text on flags. Flags can be separate to text. Flags are images, and they missed up the point on that one. So, so far, looking at these, I'd have to say that, like, okay, you, you, you clearly can say that Georgia is at least going in the C tier, right? Whereas uh, every other flag we've looked at so far, um, oh wow, they're in a weird order here, aren't they? You know, we'll, we'll have to work these out as we go. I genuinely, looking at this list of flags, I can't spot any of them besides, I think that's New Jersey because it's pink. And the other ones are so unrecognizable that I can't spot them. Okay, wait, the bland, the bland one with the diamond on was Delaware. So we're just going to find a bland, bland little diamond, and then I'll be able to find it. There we go, that's Delaware. See, bad flag. It's so unrecognizable in the pack. Uh, and same with Pennsylvania, but we'll put Georgia in the C tier. Honestly, we might not have a single S tier flag in here. I'm going to lower view. Again, the US flag as a whole is a solid A tier. There are some great flags in the, like, maybe even S tier. Like the, when you see this flag, you have this instant recognizable vision that like, ah, you're in the land of, you know, uh, I'll, I'll put it in quotes, but freedom or whatever else is going on in the US. But, uh, you know, when, when you look at this flag, it doesn't tell you that. Same with this flag. Quit translated sustenet. Um, we put text on the flag, but we put it only in French, and then there's some grapevines, and then that's the whole flag, is it? That's, that's everything? No, I don't, I don't like this one, uh, too much. At least it's bright, and it's colorful, and it's probably recognizable, but again, it's no, it's not, it's no Georgia, and Georgia's not exactly a high standard. Uh, Massachusetts has a, um, Native American, and then it's got, I think, Latin. Oh, this was probably Latin, wasn't it? Wait, let's, let's confirm. Yeah, that could have been Latin. Yeah, this is this is definitely Latin, though. Um, we've got a single arm with a sword, and then we've got a bow on there. You know what? This is America. You're meant to have guns on your flag. If you're going to have a weapon on there, make it an AR-15, not a, not a 
not a, a, a as Americans would call them, Indians. Uh, don't don't put that on there. You you can do better than that. Speaking of things you can do better than, Maryland, see me after class. I we might need to move all the rest of the flags up a tier now, just so we can put this at the very bottom. Why is it why is it tiled? Why does it go from one to the other to the other? And what are each of these tiles meant to represent? It's sideways squares. I just. Uh, yeah, I, th I genuinely think we have to move everything up a tier just so we can have our bottom tier be reserved for this. This is what you've done to me, Maryland. Why would you do this? Now Georgia's a B. Does Georgia deserve a B? Probably not. But I guess now we're going to end up with an S tier flag because South Carolina, we're finally at the point where it's like, yes, you couldn't draw exactly this if you were a child. It's important for a flag to be drawable by children so they can understand nationalism before, you know, they can uh, bomb people and uh, hate people based on their race and whatever else. But, like, it's important they understand the, <laughs> more importantly, like, actual local pride is an important thing, right? And so, like, uh, being able to draw a palm tree is hard, but I bet they could do it. The Islamic moon, I know it's not the Islamic moon, but it looks a lot like the Islamic moon. Bit of a weird choice, but sure. We'll go with this being entirely acceptable. This, this can go right into the B tier, in my, in my opinion. It's solid. You look at it and you can see it, just like Georgia. Those two flags, they at least stand out. I wouldn't recognize it because I don't know South Carolina, but if you do drive through South Carolina, I bet you do recognize it. New Hampshire, I like New Hampshire as a state, but the and, and the blue and the yellow colors do kind of work, but why would they put the US flag in the middle of their flag? You don't have flags on your flags. Already an issue. And also, the flag is on a boat here, right? The boat is on the um, is on the ocean. But if I'm not mistaken, New Hampshire has the, like, if it's not the shortest coastline, it's got to be the second shortest. Look at the coastline that New Hampshire has. It's over here. This is New Hampshire. It has the tiny stretch between Massachusetts and North Massachusetts over here. Like, you can see that, like, this is the coastline. And they decided, yeah, coastline is so important to us that we're going to go ahead and we're going to have a, uh, a little boat on our flag. I just don't understand it. 1776. I get it. You're proud that you you joined the Union, but maybe you shouldn't be. Speaking of things that shouldn't be proud, here is Virginia. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is he wearing a toga and stomping on someone else and saying Six Semper Tyrannis? If I knew what that meant, maybe I'd understand things. But again, we shouldn't be writing on flags. We Even if you say New Hampshire, which maybe you have to do if you're a lesser known state, you don't need to write uh, Six Semper Tyrannis and have these vines that are overly complicated. Again, these are low tier flags. New York, on the other hand, Excelsior e Pluribus Unum. Ooh, don't you love the New York flag? No, you don't, because there's a there's a poop on a stick on the left here. And although I I, I actually I've I've heard this is meant to represent how bluff justice is blind, right? Doesn't care about who you are. It's perfectly equal. You know what? Why is justice a woman? Why is the eagle taking over the globe? Oh, because it's the Empire State. You know, actually that's kind of clever. But still, uh, too many drawings happening here. It's got Latin. It's got the sun rising over a mountain. It's not a good flag. North Carolina. <sighs> it's basic, and they put, like, we could almost be somewhere good here, because if you just go blue on the left, N star C, I, I think that words shouldn't go on a flag, but letters maybe should, but then they've got the, the dates, I'm assuming, of ratification and of joining the union. We don't need any of that. This is, this is almost a B-tier flag. North Carolina, I can recognize your flag at a glance, but it's going in the, uh, it's the most reluctant C-tier, because, because it should be a B-tier. It just, again, we messed it up. We drew big letters on there, which confused people. Also, I, I, I we'll know when we get to Texas later, but I feel like it looks a lot like the Texas flag. Yeah, that's the Texas flag, right? So, you know, we were very similar before. Just flips upside down, apparently. Uh, it's like Poland and Monaco or whatever else. But yeah, we could do some improvement. Next up here, uh, we've got, uh, obviously, Rhode Island. It's white background. Uh, what are we, the French? No, we're not. So that's going right right on the bottom tier. You can't have white as a background for a flag. I'm, I'm sorry, you just can't. Yeah, I can't go bottom tier. It's not it's not Maryland bad, is it? So it's going it's going in this tier. I know I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna get around to the flags that I missed later. Don't worry, internet. Then we've got a uh, flag of Vermont. So Vermont is uh, Ben and Jerry land, and they represented that pretty well. Their cow and I, I I genuinely don't know what these things are. They've got a tree and they've got a complex background. Again, if like this, I swear these flags were made in the age before you know like printing in color could have been that easy, right? So like, what's the deal with this? What were we doing? Would, did we figure we could do this easily? No, we didn't. Flag of Kentucky, united we stand, divided we fall. Commonwealth of Kentucky, you don't have to call yourself a commonwealth. You know how confusing that is. Um, speaking of things that are confusing, Tennessee. 
It gets me a little bit confused of the Dragon Ball Z logo, or like some form of Dragon Ball logo, right? Like stars in a circle in another circle. Then it's red, white, and blue, but it's all red, then white, and blue. As we all know, red is like the blood of those who fought for the freedom, am I right? But uh, so that they're, they're really focused on the blood being important and only a little bit on the white and blue. But sure, actually, this is, I'm, I'm gonna proudly say it, this is another B tier flag. This is one that you can look at and you can say, yeah, that's simple and representative. It's not to my taste necessarily. Like, I think that as far as on this tier goes, it's like third best for sure. But uh, you know, we've, we've got something else going there. And then we've got Ohio. I wanna love the Ohio flag. It's simple, It's uh, it takes some motifs from the country while still trying to draw in the uniqueness of the flag. Like, wow, look, there is O for the Ohio, hopefully. I'm assuming there's an Ohio River or something it's named after. So yeah, it's gotta be O for the Ohio. They're going a little bit quirky by making a, a flag like this, like with the little little, little transparent bits. I, I personally am gonna have to say that like, well, if the transparency works on here, it's a great flag. I don't think, it's maybe it's A tier even. It might even be this top tier of flags uh, because I do like it. I just think, do we have to be so quirky, Ohio? Because Ohio is not known for being a quirky state. If you are the weird state, this would be a perfect fit. But like, eh, you're just being different for the sake of being different. Like Louisiana, where apparently, what what is this meant to symbolize? Like, I feel like if you're a Louisiana resident and it's like, so mommy, where do babies come from? They come from Louisiana, damn it, I guess. They come from Louisiana, I think y'all find. Also, they bleed into their children's mouth. This is representative of the union, the justice, and the confidence. Also, isn't Louisiana like the most French state? So why are they, why are they the one with the English on their flag? Also, what, what, what a, I genuinely don't know what this is meant to represent. I feel like it's, it's like a solid-ish. Like, I, I like it because at least it's the most recognizable. At a glance, you're like, oh yeah, it's the flag with the giant, ugly bird on it. Um, but like, why? Why Louisiana? Um, Indiana? Actually, yeah. No, 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 this is, this is good. I, I feel like the torch is weird. Like, did they have the Olympics at some point? That's the, that's what I get immediately. The stars are also a bit weird. Like, maybe they were the one, two, three, four, the 20th state or whatever else. That's, that's entirely possible. Should we find out if they were the 20th state? We can do that, it's a Wikipedia article. So yeah, they would have been the, yeah, I think that's the number of state they were in the union. They're really proud of the number of stars, I'm gonna guess. I, I don't wanna do maths and I, I guess counting is, is basically maths. If that is true, they're gonna go in my A tier. I like that, you look at it and you, you vaguely recognize it. Um, I, yeah, I, I, no, it's gonna go in the B tier. I, I feel like it's, a, it's the best off my B tier, but I, I need to be a bit pickier, I think. Although maybe when I see the next flag, in God we trust, this was updated in January of 2021. It is the newest state flag. And again, I feel like really solid to we write in God we trust. Like it's on the money, we get it. You trust in God, despite the fact that I think there's a whole constitutional point about not endorsing religion. And here you are endorsing at least the Abrahamic religions, right? So you're not messed up there. The flower is a little bit harder to draw than we'd like, but like red, yellow and blue, like the Romanian flag, sure. Good, good job, guys. You can go in my B tier for that one. Again, it's it's nice. It's actually nice and clear and recognizable. You can see it. You can see what's going down there. It's good. Also, what we can see is Illinois, the great state, the national union, sovereign state. Was well, it? Is it a sovereignty state? Is it really a sovereignty state? Like, I mean, again, I hate to say it. Even though, like. Let's have a discussion about the states, because everyone likes to say like, yeah, they're just full-on countries, really, but they don't have all the powers that a sovereign state has. Notably, they don't control their own defense, and notably, their own laws and everything else. And so Illinois is not a sovereign state. It's, it's like factually not sovereign, right? And so I feel like that's just a lie. Also, white background. Again, we I know you were loading this up on paint in 1969, but you could have done better. You know, at least every other bad flag was like 1900 and they just haven't got around to changing it. Illinois tried to change it and they did a bad job. They got the shield with the American thing on it. They've got an eagle that is eating up the sovereignty state. Is he, wait, is he, is he snorting national union? Or is he saying, is it like a speech bubble that the eagle's like, car, car, sovereign state, national union. Because if, if it's that second one, then I'm, I'm so confused either way. Not, not sure, not sure I know what to think about that. But because it's the white background, we just throw it immediately in the in in the C tier. Like, what are we doing here? Um, Alabama, 
It looks like the Isle of Man flag. In fact, it might just be the Isle of Man flag. Is it the Isle of Man flag? I feel like we need to know. Um, you know, what? Little, little diversion right here. Isle of Man flag. Isle of Man. I feel as though, oh wow, no. I don't know what I've mixed that up with, but it's, <laughs> their flag is something else entirely. <laughs> Should we add their flag into the rating? Okay, so, um, it's it's like it's like a Scottish cross, but made from red. It's really simple. It feels like it's stealing from Europe, but since I can't prove where they stole it from, I'll give it an A tier. Again, it's just a red cross, and it's like, you know, red cross for like, here is our opinion on banning uh, incest. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Sorry. You have to go for the low-hanging incest joke of Alabama, right? Um, speaking of main, uh, the main way to look... Oh, this is just this is just bad. Like, there's so many state flags have the same design where they clearly copied from each other thinking, yeah, this is such a good design for my flag. Do you see how it has people on the side? That's so good. I genuinely... I'm looking at it. So it's like red on the top of a little star. I can't spot it very easily. Is it this one? It's this one. My C tier is going to be so big. There's just so many flags that have to go in the C tier. Uh, speaking of C tier, um, Missouri. United we stand, divided we fall. Interesting how many states have that. It's always southern states too. Surely they're the ones that should be like, divided we stand. You know, make a nice division between us and those non-people. And uh, united we fall. Ooh, don't want them to be united in with us, huh? Um, more seriously, uh, besides making slavery jokes, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the fact that like, red, white, blue, I like it. I don't like that, you know, it looks a bit Dutch. But that's fine. The seal on the front with the two bears, like, being, like, show ladies caressing their their little state emblem. Not a big fan of that. I think we can at least put this in B tier, though, because it is recognizable on the surface. Uh, we're, we're gonna give it some points for that. I feel as though it's terrible to be drawn by a child, but, you know, red, white, blue, it evokes some good imagery. It's, it's, it's unique, at least. Arkansas, you wrote your name on the flag. The point is the flag is meant to represent you. You shouldn't need to write your name on it. I just, <sighs> I bet that's the number of stars they joined the union in though. So that's something. And then uh, it's simple too. If we remove Arkansas from this, honestly, remove the stars too. Maybe besides the ones in the center. I bet we'd have a really nice flag here, but we didn't do that. And so instead I'll put Arkansas in my beta. I'll put it in there. I will. Uh, you won't believe it, but I totally am doing it. Uh, next up, we've got Michigan. Just come on, stop that. No, it pluribus unum again. I don't even know what that means. Uh, you know, what? if you're gonna write in a flag, which you shouldn't do, then is that the one? By the way, I think that's the one, right? Yep. Two deer, an eagle, a man on the on the. Is there the coast in Michigan isn't even real coast. This is this is very. So what does circumspice mean? It sounds like a dangerous combination of that thing Americans love to do to their children and that thing they love to do to their food. And I just I just don't think it's a good idea. Speaking of bad ideas, Florida, they took Alabama's flag and then they put a seal on the center that says, great seal of the state of Florida. And then in God we trust. And then it's this awful drawing. It's such a bad seal. This, you know what? I think we might have found another D tier flag because again, it was a basic concept. It was a really basic concept. Then they messed it up so much worse than you could have imagined. It's like, it's confusable with another flag. It Look at that. Do you see the similarities? Do you see how similar they are? But then also it's got the, uh, it's just so ugly. I just, what are you doing in Florida? You've got, you've got to be like the third or fourth most populated state. And yet, yet no one's gone around to design. This was a 1985 flag redesign? What was the flag like before that? Oh man, it was re there yeah, was there was actually a good flag design. And then yeah, they took one that actually had a clear drawing and they made it ugly and old timey. Why would you do that? What's wrong with you, Florida? This is worse, I'll admit. Like this is like a historical Okay, this is terrible. This is terrible. This is unacceptable. This is this is just the US this this is I think Liberia's flag, right? And uh, this is something you know, it's not it's the Spanish Cross of Burgundy. I the, the, you haven't had a good flag design since Spain, Florida, and you should feel bad about it. Speaking of people who should feel bad, Texas is not one of them. I like the like the they call it the Lone Star State. I don't know where the Lone Star thing comes from, but the fact that they're called the Lone Star State and then they 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 have a flag with a Lone Star on it, and also it's nice easy colors that also represent that they're patriots and Americans or whatever the heck you, Texas people say about Texas. Um, the fact that it can combine all that together, as far as I'm concerned, right in the A tier. This is simple, it's effective, 
And like, I feel as though it's one of the more recognized designs. So just for that basis alone, it's good. Also, a child could draw it. It's, uh, it has all the points that we need in a flag. Uh, it's a little bit similar to the Monaco or Polish flag over here. But you know, that's fine. Iowa, our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. Says an eagle again. I don't know what eagles you've been speaking to that keep saying all these words. But I, or maybe, again, maybe the eagle is stealing away. Their, their phrase. Also, they wrote their name on their flag. Also, it's the French flag. I was okay with the Dutch flag, but French flag goes right in the seat here. Hate to tell you, Iowa. The French are not a people we like to associate with. Speaking of people we don't associate with, it's two dudes around a, a banner. They, again, they just stole someone else's design. They're like, but we have a, an arm with a with a hammer in it. And, a, and you know, no, I don't, I don't appreciate this. Don't appreciate it whatsoever. Uh, Wisconsin... Wisconsin, you're going right in the no-no pile. Um, then we've got California. By the way, I, I cannot bear to look at any more flags today, I should say. But before I before I mention this flag and what I think about it, I genuinely thought this wasn't the California flag. I thought this was like a, a parody. Because if you played Fallout, the flag in that game is the new California Republic. For I think for a few of the games. Uh, I think in... Um, uh, New Vegas at the very least. And so I went into a Hollister one day, which is a store that really tries to play up there. Californian yes. And uh, in that store they had this flag. And I was like, no way! They have they have the full out flag? I can't believe they like full out too. They look like they're too cool for school or whatever they're trying to go. You know, whatever closed stores are trying to sell you on. And um, no, it just turns out the California Republic actually just has a bear on it. So first of all, Solid enough flag otherwise. The bear isn't too complex, but then actually it is. It's shaded in. If we just went for a solid color bear, or just went you know, with solid grass underneath it, you'd be like, California. It's the bear state. Also, we got a star in the sky. But because of the bear being shaded and the grass being shaded, I feel like a flag that should be an inevitable A tier, again, one of the better flags, right, is sadly going to have to dip down to the B tier. It's not a good decision, but I'm sorry, California, you brought this on yourself. Minnesota, I'm just, just straight, why even bother with a flag like this? Is this Minnesota? Genuinely can't tell you right now. Let's go back and look at it. That's not Minnesota. I just flew another flag in the bin. Um, is this Minnesota? Nope, it's gone in the bin anyway. Is this, is this Minnesota? Is this Minnesota? Is this, this is the one. Do you see how long that took me? A blue background with just a generic seal on the center. You know, what? let's just throw them all in there now. Let's just save ourselves some time. Like, we're not, we're not, these flags, they're all bad. They're not, they're not quite Florida or Maryland, but we're not even going to consider speaking about them. Like, come on, come on, Minnesota. Come on, Oregon. The Union. I see the Oregon Trail reference. It's nice. I get that. But 1859, State of Oregon. No, you don't need to say that. Kansas, in the pile. State of West Virginia, somehow worse, actually, because it's blue, and then they put a white in the center. Like... They, they, genuinely, I, I, I think the only thing they could have been thinking was like, okay, this is, this is my thing. I, I want it to be blue because that's where the, you know, that's, this, this is what my flag's going to be like. We're going to draw a toy cat flag. And then they're like, okay, so we're going to, we're going to just, uh, in, in the center right here, we're going to have ourselves a lovely little, uh, box. Uh, let's expand that. There, there we go. And then let's put the little, little toy cat in the center. Because, you know, that's that's what I call myself here on the internet. And it's like, yeah, that there, there we go. This is let's 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 this let's call it a day. This is this is the this is the quality of flag that I feel as though West Virginia has produced. Oh, it's got a little seal on the center. So we're gonna do that seal that everyone does, where also there's a dude standing off to the side here. We need to use a better brush than this, I'm sorry. This is embarrassing. Well we'll have our dude stand off to the side. He can have green arms to represent how it's an agricultural state. And this man will have green legs, but he'll have an orange set of arms to represent how we're all the same, no matter what color we are. And then, it, then underneath it, we'll write uh, in in the most boring font ever, Toy Cat uh, March 2022. There we go. That's that's my flag that I've designed using the U.S.'s state flag. Come on, guys! You have millions of people living within you. And you make one like this. I want to like Nevada. I really do. They put that. This is this is close to being acceptable because the the flowers would be almost drawable. But just writing Battleborn Nevada in the top left and then leaving the rest empty, it just it's like if I did this. But then I was like, actually though, what if the flag was this size? What if what if it was though, right? Wouldn't that be wouldn't that be quirky? Yeah, that's <laughs> this this is even worse, right? This is somehow even worse. So yeah, Nevada, sorry, not a great flag. 
Nebraska, I'm sorry. Colorado, honestly, I think Colorado, controversial one here. I think Colorado has the best state flag. I think if we are going to have an S tier, Colorado goes there. Get this, right? It's just blue, white, and blue. It's a nice, it's a flag that isn't represented anywhere else. That might be Nicaragua, actually. You know what? Let's confirm. Is this actually already a state? Uh, Nicaragua. Is that what their flag looks like? It is, but it's a different shade. So we'll, we'll give them points for that. So um, it's it's just, it's, it's, a sh it's a flag color. It's like a much darker blue. It's that union blue that they all seem to otherwise use. Then it's a white in the center. Then they put a C, I'm assuming for Colorado. And then because of mountains or something, there's a circular sun in the middle. I love their flag. It's so recognizable. It's like an icon. When you look at it, you're like, yeah, this is good. It's probably gonna be the only S tier flag we can include today. But like, yeah, look at look at through this list, you immediately see Colorado every time. North Dakota in the bin. South Dakota in the bin. Montana in the bin. Washington, I have to admire. Like, you know, I it's it's so hilarious to me. Like, <laughs> so let's put some flags in the bin. Let's just keep up our little a little work right here. You have to admire, if nothing else, when looking at the Washington state flag, that they're like, well, what are we named after? Washington. Well, we'll put George Washington on there. And we'll call that a day. But obviously we want to be different because we're all the way in the Northwest. So we'll make it green instead. Like again, I want to like it because at least it's recognizable because it's the same, but it's green. It goes ahead of all the blue ones for at least going for something different. But it's just a picture of George Washington. Come on, come on guys. You, come on, you can you can do better. I'm, I'm sure you can. So uh, after Washington, which is a nice flag, a nice recognizable one, we got Idaho in the bin, Wyoming. Okay, this is something, right? We can imagine if we just remove the Great Seal of Wyoming, that's a perfectly B tier flag because it's just lots of squares. But with the Great State of Wyoming on top of a, uh, I think a buffalo or a cattle or whatever it's called, the the animal that Americans almost drove to extinction just to just to spite some people. Um, like if, if you look at that, it's like ooh, that's that's something, right? A uh, Great Seal of the State of Wyoming. But it's like, why is it on the buffalo? Why is it like, are, are you branding the buffalo of your state seal? I just don't. I, I want to like it. It's not the worst of the C tier flags, but it is a C tier flag, right? Um, has to be said. If it, When it gets small enough and you can ignore the text, it looks good again. It's B tier. But then you remember, nope, in full size, it's terrible. Um, flag of Utah in the bin. Uh, flag of Oklahoma right in the bin. Actually, almost not. Like if this was just a little bit less complex and it didn't write Oklahoma and it was a less ugly blue and they changed everything else too, it'd be good. Um, New Mexico. Actually pretty simple. I like this. It feels it feels like a city flag, like a well-designed one rather than a state flag. Uh, so I don't think it's the best flag in the world, but definitely like if we're going to have a flag go somewhere in the B tier, this is the one. Nice flag, uh, New Mexico. Arizona, also a really good job. It has a little bit of like Land of the Rising Sun to it in the background, but like this is, I, I, again, maybe I'm wrong. I feel as though you could learn to draw this easily enough. It's like the coolest flag you could learn to draw as a child. And you'd be like, yeah, I'm from Arizona. You know what we do in Arizona? We don't talk like this because this is the wrong region of the country. And um, so yeah, Arizona is uh, over here. It's very deserty. I think it's the hottest state on average. I mean, ignoring Death Valley. It's like, uh, I, I always hear about like Phoenix grounding their flights because it just gets to like 55 Celsius or something. It's like such an absurdly hot looking city. Like for real, if we just go there and you look at a random street, it's like, it looks like it hurts me to stand here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop looking at the street view in uh, Arizona. I'm just going to say they are a solidly S tier flag. They, if, if, if there was a flag to beat Colorado, it'd be, it'd be this one. It might actually, you know, what, maybe I just haven't considered them side by side. We'll come back and we'll decide on that after we look at the great state of Alaska, which, um, I mean, like it's, I, I'm sure that's a constellation or something, but you're not. You're not getting me anywhere good with that, I'm afraid. I, I think we're going to put that very... You know, actually, it's not as bad as the C-tier flags. Again, just just because we had to make a new tier, they end up in the B-tier. So let's just finish up our housekeeping, by the way. All the bad flags. Got to go Got to go down here. Just not any good. And then we've got two more. I think this must be the DC flag because we haven't seen it yet. And then also we've got the Hawaiian flag. Oh, have we found the best flag in the world. Do you see how it's got the Union Jack on there? This, this sounds like a joke. It sounds like I'm making the same this joke from earlier, but um, if you actually look, you can see that, oh, well, Hawaii over here 
with its uh, Union Jack in the corner must be a solid state. They've even got red, white, and blue stripes rather than just red and white stripes. I love this flag. I'll admit I'm so heavily biased. I love flags with the Union Jack in the corner. It's a fun reminder for me that, you know, we used to own the world. And isn't that what you really want as a person? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not. But more seriously, yeah, I, I love this flag. I really do feel like, even if we just ignore the Britishness of this design, it's a solid design. I think I'd have a hard time putting it in the S tier, but you've got to admit, it's a it's an A tier flag. It's at the very least so distinctive, and it makes you question their history. Like, why is the Union Jack on a US state flag? Look it up if you want. The story is actually that the, the UK and the US kind of half owned Hawaii for a bit. And so, but like not really owned, it was more like protected. And so as a result, they made their flag a combination of the two flags. They're like, we'll have the Union Jack in the top left and the star and the color scheme of the US stripes on the right. And then they'll both think we're friends of them. And then the US made them, you know, like maybe, maybe, maybe did a little bit more than made friends of them. And now they're a state. And so I'm assuming, okay, this is the Utah commemorative flag. And this is the flag of the District of Columbia. I think, uh, honestly, DC flag def definitely is in the B tier. Might be the very top end of the B tier too. And so this is where we've ended up on our tier list. We've got Colorado and Arizona. Very, very close to being one and two. I, I, it'd be hard to decide. After that, I have to say Texas is a third, uh, in my opinion. Then Hawaii, then Alabama, then Ohio. Then we're going to have to go with Indiana, I think, DC, California, uh, we're already at, I think that's Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, uh, Mississippi, North Carolina, Missouri, Arkansas. Wow, it's crazy how many of these flags I can actually spot. But when you get down here, genuinely, unless the text is big enough, like with Wisconsin, I still, I just went through these flags and I can't tell you who this is. This is Kentucky I'm reading. This is I Iowa. I, I'm, I'm trying to read it. I genuinely can't read this flag. Even the one thing they did wrong to make it, the one thing they did well to make it usable after making it so bad, they did so badly I still can't look at. And the only flags which are so bad that I just, I just, they're, they're distinctive, I guess, but they're also terrible, are Florida and Maryland. That is my tier list ranking all of the flags. Oh, I want to see the, the community rank now. Oh, that's not, oh, wait, there we go. Okay, so first of all, everyone's far too kind to the US flags. Look at this saying that there are this many S-tier flags. I hate to tell you this, but Indiana and the South Carolina, not S-tier flags. Even as Alaska, what is wrong with you? This is, there, this, is, this, is, this is incorrect. Disagree, just, just entirely disagree. Speaking of things that I disagree about, I've got to save this in present, present, presentation mode. Ooh, look at this. Speaking of things I disagree with, if you like watching bad videos from British people and you want to support them, have you considered going to Patreon? I use your money not to improve these videos, which will stay just as low quality as they are right now, but instead to buy myself kebabs. And so, do you want to support my purchase of a kebab? Give me money, or don't. It's your choice, really. Uh, as always, second channel. Hope you enjoyed, because I'll see you all in the next one. Look both ways before crossing the street, because, you know, I need you to watch future videos. And if you're dead, you can't do that. Honestly, people say look both ways before crossing the street, but what if it's a one-way street? you'll waste your time looking right. So make sure you know the traffic flow and uh, see if there's a see if there is a deadly uh, obstacle before crossing the street. Already, if you're gonna do anything in life, make sure there's not a deadly thing between you and where you wanna be, and then cross the street. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you all enjoyed, and I hope that you don't die of a heat stroke today. And so unless any of those things happen to you, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Second channel, don't care, goodbye.